Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to another reputized video. Mile 22 stars Mark Wahlberg, Ronda Rousey, John Malkovich, Lauren Cohen, and Echo OS. It's all about this American intelligence officer played by Mark Wahlberg who gathers a top secret tactical command unit to smuggle this mysterious police officer with valuable information out of the country. Some of this movie was set in East Asia. It's basically a tactical op movie trying to protect this one guy because of some information that apparently the bad guys don't want to get out there. This this movie was pretty interesting. I I got to give you know, the director Peter Berg. He's been doing a lot of movies like this here recently. Lone Survivor. It just seems like Peter Berg is really focusing on the military aspects of Hollywood. This movie, Mile 21, was pretty interesting. Like I said, it was very fast paced. I do favor this movie because it has plenty of action in it. It has plenty of shoot 'em ups. Mark Wahlberg and Ronda Rousey and especially Lauren Cohen. If you didn't think she was a badass in The Walking Dead, you hadn't seen anything yet. <laughs> this movie is is actually pretty good, but the only downfalls to it is Mark Wahlberg's character, he's good to a certain point. He plays a dick throughout the whole thing. And in a way, you know, I did find myself laugh at that aspect every now and then. Just cut it out. We get it. You're an asshole. <laughs> and another thing that kind of got on my nerves, that kind of bothered me a little bit, was this thing that he kept on doing in his wrist. He had a rubber band around it, and I guess this was his own way of dealing, of coping with what he was do going through. With, like, the only way he could deal, cope with everything was pain. But he would have a rubber band and, like, slap himself. He would do that constantly. There's a lot of pros in this. It does have a lot of action in it. And the, the story was well told. The music in it by Jeff Russo was pretty interesting. The pacing was really fast. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just kind of all over the place here. But the cons... You know, the last cons I just mentioned to you about the rubber band thing and him being an asshole. The cuts in it. In some of the scenes, they, they would show, like, the cuts being real fast. Fuck! Look that more in front of you. On your left! Dougie, come right! Get right! Where's the signal? Which I'll slow it down just a little bit. I call it half-action cuts. I know that's not a clever name, but... I can't think of any other word to describe it. Half action cuts. They'd be doing something and then it would cut away for like a split second and then come back and it's like, stop doing that. And there's a bunch of shaky camera angles too. But other than that, the acting in it was fairly well. Like I said, Lauren Cohen was a complete badass in it. I really loved her character. And another downfall is the way it ended. I won't give anything else away, but it ended on a cliffhanger for me. The way it ended, it was, it kind of ruined the whole thing. With the twist and turns that it had, certain things wasn't quite explained. And I don't know, maybe I have to go back and look at it, and maybe they did explain it, like, real fast. But it, it just, to me, it just wasn't much there. Overall, the movie was good for what it was. I'm not doubting it completely. Mile 22 gets a B plus. It's one of those movies that I might not never see again, or if I do, I might just rent it from Redbox. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Peace to Redbox.